This video shows you how to add Cisco WLC to Cisco Prime infrastructure. First, let us verify the SNMP configurations on Cisco WLC. To do that, click the Management tab in the Cisco WLC Web Interfaces top navigation menu. In the left pane, click SNMP and then General. Currently, there are three versions of SNMP available, that is, SNMP version 1, SNMP version 2C, and SNMP version 3. If you want to enable SNMP version 1 mode for this controller, choose Enable from the drop down list, otherwise, leave it as is. By default, the SNMP version 2C and version 3 modes are enabled. You need not change this unless it is to disable them. Click Apply. Let us now configure the SNMP community values. In the left pane, click Communities. Click New in the right pane. Enter a unique name for the community. Enter the IP address and the IP mask details of Cisco Prime infrastructure that you are using. Access mode can either be read-only or read-write. Make sure that you enable the status. Click Apply. Let us now configure the SNMP version 3 users. In the left pane, click SNMP version 3 users and then click New in the right pane. Enter a name for the user profile. Set the access mode. Access mode can either be read-only or read-write. Choose the authentication protocol. Enter the auth password and confirm the same. Choose the privacy protocol. Enter the privacy password and confirm the same. Click Apply. Let us now configure the trap controls. You can control the list of SNMP traps you want to send to the trap receiver. In the left pane, click Trap Controls. Click the Client tab in the right pane. It is a good practice to enable all the traps since it will help you in troubleshooting. If you have not enabled any of the traps, you will not receive a trap log for those traps. To enable all the traps, check the Select All checkbox. Click Apply. Log into the Cisco Prime Infrastructure UI and choose Configuration and then Network Devices. Click Add Device. Click the General tab and enter the IP address of Cisco WLC. From the License Level drop-down list, choose Full to collect all the information about the device and to have Cisco Prime Infrastructure manage the device. Alternatively, choose Switch Port Trace Only to collect partial information about the device. Click the SNMP tab and choose the SNMP version that you created on Cisco WLC. If you are using SNMP version 1 or version 2C, provide the read and write community string that was configured on Cisco WLC. If you are using SNMP version 3, configure the following. Username, mode, auth type, auth password, privacy type, privacy password. Since SNMP version 2C is being used in this example, we are configuring the read and write community and confirming the same. Click the Telnet and SSH tab and configure the Telnet and SSH parameters. From the protocol drop-down list, choose Telnet or SSH. The port value changes automatically depending on the protocol selected. By default, the timeout value is set to 60 seconds. Enter the username, password and confirm the password. Click the HTTP, HTTPS tab 
and provide the HTTP credentials so that Cisco Prime infrastructure collects data from them. From the protocol drop-down list, choose either HTTP or HTTPS. The TCP port changes automatically to the default port for the protocol that you have selected. In the TCP port field, enter a different TCP port if you want to override the default. Enter the username, password and confirm the password. Enter the monitor username, monitor password and confirm the password. Click Verify Credentials to verify the device credentials before adding them. Click Add to add Cisco WLC to Cisco Prime Infrastructure. In the All Devices window, ensure that the Last Inventory Collection column shows completed before you exit this window. The next step is to verify if the device has been added successfully or not. To do that, in the Cisco Prime Infrastructure UI, choose Configuration and then Network Devices. Click the device name. Review all the details. This completes the task of adding Cisco WLC to Cisco Prime Infrastructure.